He's out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting patiently, charging up. It's Mr. Natasha Sniper. You think you're going to spawn in, get some damage, get some beacons? Not so, says Mr. Sniper. Prepare to be another statistic in the after battle screen. You're in Mr. Sniper's world. Prepare to be one shot. All right, guys, this is Bag of Soup coming at you. And today we are talking about how to deal with snipers. Uh, whether it's a long range map or a closed map, you're still going to have to deal with them. Here are some tips and tricks to help you uh, in that. Number one, uh, you can always fight fire with fire. Uh, they often say if you can't beat him, join him, and you can out-snipe him. You can out-snipe the sniper. Now, not everyone's going to like that. Not everyone likes the long-range play, but it's worth it to have at least one long or mid-range bot in your setup. Uh, did you just see that guy get taken out? We saw Japar get one shot over there on the right by that sniper over there. Uh, this is my favorite choice right here. I love the Lancelot with Tempest and Molots. Uh, to me, it's kind of a hybrid mix between mid to long range. I know a lot of other guys like their Tempest uh, with the Fury or Natasha. To me, it's kind of a waste of time in these situations because you're very vulnerable to snipers and you're slow. Um, the Lancelot has that frontal shield. Uh, so does a Raijin. Uh, so a, a Lance uh, Tempest or Raijin Tempest. Uh, could be an option for you and because this is kind of a hybrid between mid to long range you can hit guys anywhere from 600 to 800 meters uh, so I'm already hitting this uh, potential uh, Molot sniper over here and of course we're keeping our eye and our shield directed towards the main trebuchet sniper over here uh, so that's just one main option if it frustrates you uh, sometimes some of the best payback is equal medicine you can get a Leo uh, Geckos with a Treb. You can get a Padden Geckos. Uh, you can get your own Trebuchet Sniper. Uh, you can get a Nash Horn uh, or a King Day, which are about to get a buff in the next 3.0 update this coming week. Uh, all sorts of options that you can do uh, to uh, out snipe the other team. So we're going to spend a little time uh, taking out some of these potential snipers for the uh, uh, from the red team here. Uh, and I do this a lot. If I'm uh, on an open map right now, I'll start out in my Lance Molots uh, and uh, protect myself from the long range snipers. Plus, let's admit it, right now damage is bigger than beacons. And uh, so winning the game isn't always the most important for league points and other factors uh, getting damages. So if I can uh, stay out here protected, uh, get damage, also take out the sniper, um, more power to us. So that's one option. And you'll watch me take out some of these snipers uh, for my team um, as I'm an active uh, sniper. The other team may just be camping, but you can do your job to out-snipe them. Uh, another option that you can do is bring some more physical shields into your hangar. I know for the last month or two, the uh, game meta or the overall uh, game strategy has been uh, more about rockets, mid-range rockets. So we've, uh, a lot of us have taken out our shield bots. But because of all the extra snipers out there, some more plasma weapons, uh, a lot of people are bringing the shield bots back in. So you can bring a Gareth, a Galahad, a Lancelot uh, in to protect from some of these snipers. Uh, of course, we talked about the Raijin also. Uh, the Rhino is about to get a buff in this 3.0 update and uh, it's going to have some major speed. That's another uh, great physical shield bot. Uh, the ECU shield that you can buy and put on most any bot. Uh, is about to get a buff as well and uh, when the dash bots hit the uh, dash bot mark 3 will be an option so use shield bots to go and grab beacons to take out other guys and you won't have to worry about those pesky snipers that's number two use physical shields uh, third if I'm in a bot like this my Fujin Tolumbus or any other non-physical shielded bot you gotta keep out of line of sight you can see where I'm using that um, little dome R2-D2 looking uh, uh, objects right here at the edge of this um, uh, base thingy here. I'm using that uh, to keep out of line of sight. I'm trying to use center beacon and the walls around center beacon to stay out of line of sight from that sniper also. 
Uh, so on any map, just find the lines and obstacles that you can use to stay out of line of sight of snipers as you close in on them. And maybe you'll have a mid-range bot, maybe you'll have a closer range bot, but you can uh, move uh, through these obstacles and around and make sure that the enemy can't see you straight through. That's definitely an option. If they don't have splash weapons as a sniper, then they can't even hit you around those corners. So number three is just keep out of line of sight. Uh, stay where the snipers can't see you. Uh, number four is to use cover. It kind of goes with the keep out of line of sight, but move from cover to cover. Now obviously on maps like Dead City and Power Plant and Moon Map, you'll have more cover than others. But all of these maps have cover. Even a map like Yamantau has the little bridge uh, obstacles along each side. It has center beacon you can maneuver under and around. Uh, so use cover along the way uh, so that you're out of line of sight, once again, uh, from the snipers. Uh, that's number four, and move in closer towards them if you want to take them out, uh, moving from cover to cover. Uh, number five, another great idea, is use a meat shield. Basically, use a teammate. Uh, stand behind them, move behind them. You've seen it in movies forever, whether it's Braveheart or other movies where they're storming a the castle, and they get behind the uh, shields or the other guys, and those guys protect them. Find a Lancelot, find a big bot, find any bot, and walk behind them. And hopefully, even if the sniper tries to target you, they won't be able to hit you because you got a buddy in the way. Heck, if you have to, use an enemy. Uh, put an enemy in between your way and theirs, and you can block the sniper that way. Uh, use a teammate, number five. Also, number six, uh, not everyone will like this option, but it is an option. Uh, number six, use non-direct fire weapons. Non-direct fire weapons. Those could be things like hydras, spirals, and aphids, things that you can shoot from around corners from behind cover. Uh, aphids, obviously, you're going to be have to be a lot closer in, but you might be able to do that on a close-range map like a Dead City, Power Plant, or Moon Map. Uh, hydras and spirals, you can reach out to an enemy up to 600 meters uh, and take them out if you can get close enough in whether it's using a shield bot to get in, or using uh, uh, staying out of line of sight, or using cover, uh, using a teammate to sneak up on them. Uh, use indirect fire weapons. Once again, you may not like the indirect fire weapons, but hey, that could be some sweet medicine back to that sniper. Uh, if you're annoyed by hydras and spirals, man, they're really going to get annoyed when um, you hit them with them. So that's another option, is uh, move from cover to cover, uh, stay out of line of sight, use a teammate, but get in there. And number six, use non-direct fire weapons. And of course, right now you can see with my Carnage, I'm trying to use these little ramparts and uh, little um, protruding uh, shield pieces on the bridge to stay out of um, cover. Uh, number seven also is watch the timing of the sniper. It may be that you can see the trebuchets glowing as they're reloading uh, and getting ready to fire and just stay behind cover. Now, when you see the enemy shoot the trebuchets off, shoot the geckos off, go ahead and move from cover to cover then or get where you need to get. Uh, but watch around the corners, use corner peeking and see if that sniper's charged up. If he's using a Nash horn, a Kang Day, Molots, count the reload time. So you can move from cover to cover if you don't have a physical shield bot. Uh, so right now that's what I'm doing is I'm watching the trebuchet um, uh, glow. I'm moving from cover to cover and I've gotten close enough with my Carnage Zeus to start working on that sniper and then I can once again get back uh, to cover, stay out of line of sight. Uh, so number seven, uh, watch the enemy's reload time, watch the, the, the color of their um, trebuchets or something like that. Now here's a moment where I see that trebuchet lit up, I try to sneak out, I get a good shot on him but he takes me out. So once again I gotta take my own advice and watch carefully. Uh, another option is something that Pixonic is giving us, as a matter of fact, this week, uh, is Beacon Rush Mode. For those that don't like the long-range play, don't like the campers or sniper weapons, Beacon Rush is going to be awesome. Uh, once you go in and capture beacons and you get taken out, you can then spawn in from any captured beacon. So let's say your team takes center beacon, you can spawn right into there with a, a physical shield bot or any other bot or a mid-range bot and be that much closer to the sniper. Uh, or you can capture the enemy home spawn and uh, 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 spawn in right there and take the sniper out up close. I think you're going to see a lot less people carrying 
uh, sniper bots and camper bots in beacon rush mode because they're just not going to be as effective. Uh, if they were carrying two or three, they may carry one at most, and you're going to have the ability to get in there and take them out. Uh, that's uh, number eight. Thankfully, Beacon Rush Mode is coming out this week. Thanks to Pixonic, they are listening to their players. Number nine, one of my favorites, go in for the kill. You've used cover to cover or physical shields. You've stayed out of si a line of sight. You use non-direct fire weapons, and you've gone in there, and you get to take the sniper out and let him <laughs> see the white of his eyes and let him see your face as you destroy him. It's a great feeling. Uh, and it'll, it'll make up for all the uh, frustration in the match. Uh, lastly, number 10, look at the after battle results. Look at the after battle results and let them speak for themselves. A lot of times, a lot of these camper snipers uh, seem like they're controlling the match, but they don't really get a lot of um, damage in or no beacons. They really don't help their team. A lot of times, they'll cause their team to lose because they're camping the whole time. And you can say, you know what, I got out there, I got beacons, I got kills, I got damage, and that sniper didn't, and he's got to live with that, and I feel better. So let the after battle results speak for themselves. So those are the tips uh, for how to deal with snipers. Number one, out snipe them, fight fire with fire. Number two, use physical shields. There's lots of options for that. Number three, keep out of line of sight. Get to the other side of the map. Number four, use cover, move from cover to cover. Five, use a teammate, use an enemy, get uh, someone in your way to protect you. Six, use non-direct fire weapons, hydra spirals, aphids. Seven, watch the sniper timing, count the reload uh, before you move. Number eight, beacon rush mode, play that and you'll see less snipers. Nine, go in for the kill, uh, see the whites of their eyes, get some revenge. And number ten, let the after battle results speak for themselves. So those are the uh, top ten ways to deal with snipers. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you like the video, please click like. If you've got a comment, I'd love to hear it in the section below. Some sniper war stories. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. We've got more coming up. This is Bag of Soup, and I hope you have a great War Robots day.